Okay, fellas, now look, I know that there's a lot of you in here that are pissed off at me because I made you stay at the club and not move to uh, so-called bigger teams. But we can deal with that in the summer, guys. We really can, I promise. But uh, right now, we've got Marseille in the Champions League knockout rounds. And I really do think at our best we can beat them. So come on. we got to take this, guys. Sorry. Hello? Medical department. Who's injured? Kosh. Okay. Well, uh, Milosevic can play, I suppose. So that's okay. Yeah. Ugh. Beyonce as well. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. We're fucked. Singing Sam and the singers Open mouth I'm green that be Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome back to Grindavik on the Impossible Dream. It is season 12, episode 11 today and we have Champions League knockout football. Two legs against Marseille and we are going to have to do it without uh, probably our, or two of arguably our most important players. Beyonce out for uh, seven weeks to three months. Kosh out six to seven weeks. The the Beyonce one's a bad one. It's a torn hamstring as opposed to sort of a pull or a strain. So yeah, that's not great. And of course, he is realistically our only left-sided winger, even though he's got a right foot. Um, so yeah, that means we're going to have to change up pretty much everything about the way we're playing uh, because Kosh was a he's a good Kosh is a good right winger. Milosevic is a good right winger. Milosevic, of course, has a massive sulk on right now, and we've seen he's not been playing well with his sulk. So yeah, we are going to change things up for this game, and it's going to be injury enforced, unfortunately. So this is what we have: first leg at home. We need absolutely. Excuse me, I'm choking with nerves here. We absolutely need to be in front going to France. There is no, there's no two ways around that. That has to happen. And uh, the other thing that I did also want to quickly show you was the dynamics. Now, things have improved a little bit. Just a little bit. Atmosphere is back up, moving in the right direction. Managerial support is moving back up. Team cohesion didn't really change. There's still unhappy players, but... It's, it's on the up and up. Now, one thing that you will notice when we get into the club, uh, into the, the selection screen, is that we have accepted a bid for Conde. So this is the bid here. 15 million up front uh, with some add-ons that can potentially take us up over 20 million. Now, the reason I've done this is because, A, I accidentally promised him. I bought a new mouse, by the way. If your mouse is going to die, it might as well be on Amazon Prime Day, might not it? So we've got a new mouse today, so that hopefully won't be a problem. We're going to try and get more money for him. But ultimately, I just... I don't want to have a fight with him about this. 20 million, of, what, 15 plus add-ons is a reasonable fee for him. Uh, we have some, you know, some uh, Johnson, for example, that can play this position and play it uh, quite well. Maybe not quite at his level. But yeah, Conde is, uh, yeah, it's just a little bit of a, because I promised him that he could leave, and which I didn't mean to do, as I said before. So we'll do that. That'll help solve uh, sort of two birds with one stone because the finances are continuing to look a little bit dodgy, um, not so much the balance, that can come back, but what I'm con increasingly concerned about is FFP, now if I make myself disappear right here, like that magic, we are allowed to lose 4.3 million, uh, we are projected to lose uh, just uh, 9.5, just over 9.5, so something needs to change there, we need 5 million, if we, if we sell Conde, there's other options that I can see that uh, can maybe come in and uh, we can do a transfer because the bid coming in now means, of course, that he won't leave until the summer. So we've got him until the end of whenever our Champions League run ends, if it's this episode or not, we've got him until then anyway. So everything about the timing of it as well just seemed to work a little bit. Uh, a little bit better than if we'd sold him in January. So, yeah, that is something that you will notice. But let's have a look and see what we're doing here. It is Marseille. They are currently fourth in uh, in League uh, I did check that. Uh, Paris has won every single year. Can you believe that since this series started? Um, inverted wingers and wingbacks. So we need to be a little bit careful of that. They are a uh, they are a team that likes to play down the wings. And uh, this is the team we're sending out. And as I said, we've had to change things up. So Puol goes in goal. We'll use him as a sweeper keeper, though. Um, so that's fine. Uh, Gia Chini is going to be a left wing back. Uh, Majuros, Degen, and Volpez. The reason I've got them playing wing backs from here is that just that's where they're more comfortable. That's where their star rating is better, basically. So essentially, they're doing the same job, though. Conde will be playing as the deep line playmaker. We're going to have Rayul and Jonsson going as Mazella's right footed, Rayul left footed, Jonsson. Bakali goes in behind Sima and Kuzliak. I'm going with Kuzliak because he has done well throughout the run in Europe. 
We do obviously have Boutenson on the bench, who's a little bit unlucky not to be playing, to be honest. The reason I've changed formation is Milosevic, as I said, he could have come in and played on as a right winger, but he's had a bit of a sulk on. The option on the left side would be Obot. Uh, now, Obot's another one that we could probably look to sell, though his wages aren't ridiculous. I just feel like having Kruzliak, Seema, Boutenson, two of those three on the field is a better option for us than having a sulking Milosevic and Obot on the field. So that's why we've done this. But if we need to change back, obviously, we can we can go and do that. All right, so we can see the team sheets here. Do we recognize any names? Sergino Dest is there. Reynoso, I recognize that name. Uh, Pimbele, is, did he, does he play right in real life or has he recently played for Paris, I think? Um, do I recognize any other names here? Uh, not really. Now, Marseille is a sort of club, actually, though. They've been um, trying to take players from us. Let's, okay, home advantage. Let's make it count. So there's a few players there that um, that we were going in for at the same time they were. And I think they're probably not good enough for both our teams right now. But we have competed with them for signings, you know, fairly recently. And here we go, a nice frozen Icelandic pitch for the southern Frenchmen, and hopefully they're going to absolutely shiver their balls off. Um, yeah, apologies there was no episode yesterday, if you're watching uh, watching live, Mrs. Villain was uh, not feeling particularly good. Um, I think she picked up a bit of a fluey coldy thing at work and she wasn't able to take some of the meds, but, but you know, she didn't have them with her at work, so she felt like a bit, a bit crap last night, so... She's uh, fully medicated now and uh, on the road to recovery. But uh, yeah, that's why there was no episode yesterday. I just had to talk with the kids, basically. So uh, yeah, that is that. Look at Pakali. He really is just a little hobbit, isn't he? Uh, all right, here we go. Here we go. We've got a highlight. We Last time we played with this formation, it didn't necessarily work out very well for us. I've put a lot of effort into trying to make sure it works out for us this time. Rayul is tackled away. Volpez, though, for Jonsson. Bacali turns. There's a good ball for Giacchini getting forward. Can he pick out someone at the back post? It's Volpez. I can't see the ball. If you're watching on a phone, I do apologize. A white ball on white snow is a little bit ridiculous, isn't it? And here they come the other way. Oh, don't do this to me. It's into the construction site. And that is absolutely fine. I'm hoping new mouse, new luck as well when it comes to... Oh, that's a good win there from Degen. Seema gets it forward for Kruzliak. Oh, Kruzliak, the white round thing, mate. He can't see it. It's probably... Is it snowing or sleeting or something? Raining? Um, I mean, I don't think the weather actually does affect professional athletes, does it? But Carly wins that back nicely. Can Kruzliak pick a pass now? Volpez... Gets it back for Degen. Degen forward for Bakali. Bakali, there's a good ball for Jonsson. Oh, the goalkeeper's made a cracking save. Albert Jonsson, though. What a chance. Bakali now to take the corner. Can we find Degen or Majeros? Both good in the air. It's neither. It's headed away. Raul will pick it up. And eight, nine minutes in here, it's been a positive start from us. Which is obviously a good thing. What we would like to do, of course, is uh, is take the lead. If uh, the football gods could be so kind to us. Jonsson, can he get to that? Not quite. There's a ball over the top. Majeros can't get back, but Pruwal, back in goal, can make the save for us. Now we've got work to do defending a corner. We did work on this to make sure we were at our very best to hopefully not let in silly goals. And that is a way behind for another corner. That's okay. We can do this all day, Marseille. Just wait for their bad ball in. Is this the bad ball in? It's a decent one again. That one's headed away by Jonsson. Bakali goes out. Can't quite get there. Can seam up. Doesn't matter. Highlight over. Job done. They've had five shots. Uh, only one on target, though. And not much possession. So that suggests they're looking to hit us on the break a little bit, doesn't it? And another corner. Uh, this time it's away again. Majeros was there. Seema can't quite. Oh, we've left the man over. We left the man over. And Puol is there. Um, all right. I wonder if... Well, let's try uh, whipped crosses for starters. If we're dominating possession but not creating the chances, I wonder if work the ball into the box isn't really our thing. But I've always said I'd rather create a good chance than a... Just a chance kind of thing. Here we go. Bacali just got crowded out a little bit there, didn't he? Um, Conde. 
Oh, heavy touch from Conde. He's thinking about his Benfica. He said, never have to deal with this cold again. Oh, it's a... Not quite sure how Puel saved that, to be honest. But he did. Let's give it a focus here. That hasn't particularly worked, but I do think we need to be told to focus. Um, Seema not having a great game. First half stoppage time, essentially. Gia Vicini with another great ball in. And, oh, it's over the top. And we've got away with one there. All right. Well, how do we assess that? Very good start. And it just kind of went away from us a little bit, didn't it? Um, all right. So let's go with... Let's time for everyone to dig in. Um, we'll pump our fists. And I'm wondering if what we do is... Is maybe we don't work the ball into the box. If the pitch is a little bit frozen and, and not particularly friendly, uh, then maybe if we get rid of that... And I wonder if we just just maybe look to be a little bit more direct as well. Uh, Seema not having a great game. Could we use him, I wonder, more as a complete forward on attack and maybe look to get Bakali a little bit further forward as well? Because um, we do have decent enough protection in behind, I would say. So let's try that. Let's encourage them. And... Let's see what we can do. Jonsson. Yeah, I mean, Jonsson's one of the unhappy players, isn't he? So that's that's not great. Um, all right. Kruzliak's looking nervous. Seema's not having a good game. All right. Uh, all right. Let me have a think about what we do here. All right. So uh, Seema's got a bit of an injury. So we're going to take him off. Uh, there's no point trying to play through an injury. Uh, we're also going to have a little bit of an experiment here. We're going to bring Obot on and play him as a Mazella. Now, we can... Obviously, dribble. He has decent work rate. He's not ideal to be playing in uh, in central midfield, but we're going to try and get him to run with the ball. Yeah, maybe run wide with the ball and just see if uh, if you know getting someone on the ball that can has a little bit better dribbling ability can maybe be the difference in just um, sort of breaking the game open a little bit for us. Let's just keep encouraging. Lots of nervous players. If we can win the ball back here, we're deep in their half. And there's the ball over the top. Majoros can't get there. Oh, there's a player coming through the middle as well. It's blocked. Puol's there. He claims it. And was that the highlight? We get it wide. Giacchini for Obot. Let's see what he can do with the ball at his feet here. Giacchini stabs it forward. Here we go. Obot. There's a pass there. Rayul made a good run forward. Conde. Conde finds Rayul. Can Rayul pull it back? He's in the middle. It's Kuzliak. Oh, he's miskicked it. Krozliak's finishing at times when we've really needed it in the later stages of this competition have not been good. He had a couple of chances at right at the end of the league phase as well where he just scuffed shots. And that was a golden opportunity. I think I'm... Oh, and Degen's given it away. Don't do this. Somehow we've managed to keep that out. Oh, this is absolutely torturous. Ball in. It's a wait. And Bakali goes to try and close down. Does that say Rooney? And that'll do it for that. Oh, I can't believe Kruzliak has missed that. You wonder if we had... I Because I was going to take Seema off except for the injury. Uh, take Kruzliak off, sorry. Leave Seema on except for the injury. You wonder if Seema or Boutensen had been at the end of that chance. If we would have had a lead. Majuros wins it back. Boutensen now. Boutensen gets it wide for Giacchini. Conde's in space. If we want to use him, we go back to Majoros. Conde, can he slide a pass through? Bacali. Oh, red card. It's in stoppage time. It's unlikely to make a difference. But he'll be missing for the next one. Don't know how important the player he is for them. So it's nil-nil going to France. It's not ideal, is it? it we needed, I think, a lead. But did we see enough there to give us hope? I think, I think we probably did. So Marseille hold out for draw. The Seymour injury is just a bruised ankle. That's fine. Majoros did well. Um, yeah, well, we'll come back for the second leg. We're in sort of our own uh, preseason now, like the league preseason. So we've got that uh, stupid League Cup thing. So I'll play a couple of games with that and I'll see you back for the second leg. We need to find a way to score goals though, don't we?
All right, welcome back. We're getting ready for the second leg, and we are doing it with Conde, still a, pl a player of Grindavik, but on the move on July 1st when the European window opened. So 15 million up front, up to 22.5 million with uh, with the potential add-ons here. Uh, like I say, not a, a sale I particularly wanted to make, but one that does just lift the, the pressure of FFP office for, uh, for the short term. And um, yeah, he, he'll be missed, but... We had to do something, and I think a defensive mid as a defensive midfielder goes, he's not the best tackler. There's the you know not the best work rate. Um, anticipation was good, decisions was good. So that, I mean, he wasn't a bad player. You know, in, in a way, I'm trying to justify it to myself. But um, yeah, didn't want to do it, but we had to do something, and I think we should be able to to get somebody in. We already have players in uh, the squad who can do a similar job, if not maybe quite as well. So that's happened. The other thing that's happened is Milosevic has decided that he's happy again. Now, that, of course, begs the question, do we go back to wingers for the second leg? Because he's a very, very good player, had been playing very well in Europe before he got his sulk on, and it's tempting to go back to wingers. But if we go and have a look at what we're doing here, uh, we are expecting them to be a 4-4-2 again. That being said, I think this maybe just matches up a little bit better against a 4-4-2 than if we go with wingers. But we do have the option on the bench, uh, Milosevic and Obot. If we need to, we'll bring them on and we'll change things up for the second half. This is what we're looking here. This is Jonsson. Jonsson compared to Conde, you can see he's a similar type of player. Um, there's obviously parts of his game that are better, but there's parts that aren't as good as well. So... Yeah, I don't think, I think if, in terms of, of players that we could sell and have somebody already in the squad come straight in, I think Conde was was the man. We signed him, we signed him for two point, uh, 3.5 sorry, last season, so we've made a very nice profit on him as well. But anyway, this is uh, this is the team that we're sending out to hopefully, hopefully get us a win here. Puol in goal, Giacchini, Majoros, Degen and Volpez, Conde, Raul, Jonsson, Bacali. It's going to go Balkinson and Sima up front. I just... Kruzliak is really annoying me, to be honest. For someone who scored goals for fun, um, he sure missed a few important ones recently, hasn't he? All right, as the nerves suddenly build into my stomach here. Uh, lineups look pretty much the same for them, don't they? We've, of course, only just made the one change ourselves. Uh, nobody expects us no pressure on us here. Good luck there. We're going to need it. The underdogs, let's go and put on a performance for the fans. Let's show everyone what we're capable of. I think is maybe the best way to go. Um... Yeah, now, still unhappy players in this starting lineup, Volpez and Jonsson. So we'll keep an eye on their performances. And, yeah, just hopefully... I'm, so, I'm still filthy that uh, Kruzliak missed that chance. Coming here 1-0, it just gives us that little bit of room for error, doesn't it? Um, you know, we, you know, we can lose by a goal, still, still go to extra time and whatnot, but... Yeah. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. Uh, now I, I have looked at uh, I've done so much like okay, pre-game prep for this for these two games they do score a lot of their goals from crosses so they, we're trying to push up we did this in the first league so we're trying to push up higher uh, and, and feed them inside so they can't get across um, and they do concede a lot from through balls now there's an argument to say we should be looking to pass the ball into space a little bit more uh, we didn't do that in the home leg uh, we can have a look at it here given that the playing surface looks a lot better as you would expect it in the south of France uh, in February compared to Iceland. Can Volpez stop the cross coming in? He cannot. Oh, it's a cross in front of goal. It's still there. They're going to have another go. Can we get it clear this time? Giacchini's there. Boutenson brings it away. And Bacali, can we get on the break here? Oh, Zima's done brilliantly. Back to Boutenson. Neil Boutenson. Can he do it? Boutenson! Oh! It's not the easiest chance. But it was a cracking counter-attack. And we've seen Boutenson score those before, haven't we? Many, many times. So it is it is a little bit disappointing. I can't I uh, can't be lying about that. Here we go. Rayor wins it back for us. We go back to Pruol. And we go again. Uh, don't forget to, uh, if you haven't yet, vote for your uh, player of the year. Viewers player of the year. There's the link for that is still in the description below. Hopefully... We're going to have end season awards, not next episode. Here we go with Volpez. But of course, we'll need to win here for that not to be the case. Volpez. We're a little bit narrow here, guys, if you want to get a little bit of width going. Look at uh, Giacchini. Speaking of width, someone passed it to him. There it is. Giacchini's into the area. Giacchini, can he pull it back? There's Grindavik players everywhere. Conde, Raul, Raul, time, space, deflection. Over the top, was it? It's a goal kick. I hope there was a deflection on that. Otherwise, he should be shot. Um. All right. We've got Raul over a free kick. Ball to the back post. Dagen, and it's just over. 
we need to make we this is like the first leg isn't it we need to make this count and we need to get our goal right Bakali this time sorry over the free kick it's back post Degen it's beaten everybody Degen will keep it in for us will he it's uh, are we going to get done on the break here potentially because they've got it wide into some space Conde wins it back oh we are going to miss him aren't we he has played well and Bakali oh wins it back and but there's another go Seema to Real, Bacali's in, Bacali, Bacali! Hey, he's done it, it's 1-0! It's 1-0 to Grindavik in Marseille. And as things stand, we are going into the round of 16. Seema did so well there, Real to Bacali. And Bacali, oh, how many times do I need to say it? He's too good to be Australian. And he has tucked it away beautifully to give us a 1-0 lead. All right, if Kuzliak had just scored that freaking goal on the first leg, we'd be would be looking really, really nice right now. But if we defend properly, if we keep a clean sheet, then we will be through. Do not even think about getting complacent out there. Now they're all stressed. Well, don't be stressed. Just don't get complacent. Giacchini is the only one that is still stressed. So hopefully we'll be able to get out there and he'll he'll calm himself down. He's got a booking now as well. Let's give them some praise. And we've got a free kick to defend. Oh, it's in a really good spot too, isn't it? Oh. It clipped the crossbar, but it did go over. And. Oh, gee, Jesus. Okay. Well, I mean, it's relatively simple, isn't it? Um, it's just a matter of whether we take Bakali off. Now, he does have good work rate, good passing and whatnot. Or do we take Jonsson off, who is not particularly happy to be at the club right now and not playing as well? I mean, the, the defensively minded thing to do is to take Jonsson off, isn't it? Uh, leave him on, sorry. So but we won't do that. We'll bring on the backup left back. Bakali can go out there, play as a Mazella. We saw it, didn't we? He was stressed, he was anxious, and he's got himself sent off. We'll praise them. And we've got some defending to do. Is it all going to go wrong on the back of a red card? Um, yeah. I mean, it's probably Degen's man, isn't it? He was started on him and then drifted off. Let's give it a focus. We've come straight back. Now what we don't need to do is fall in a heap. Come on, boys. We need to dig deep now. Come on. They're putting a lot of pressure on us, aren't they? We get it clear, but it's coming straight back at us. And Volpez gets back nicely. But still, Marseille have possession here. It's turned this game, hasn't it? It's turned on the red card. Arguably, it's turned at half time. But that is flashed across the goal face. And we get away with it. Um... All right, let's uh, let's encourage them, and we're still doing okay in terms of possession. We've got to do a little bit better from the set pieces. Oh, it's straight to Puwal's hands. Seema and Boutenson aren't having good games. All right, Kuzliak, I'm going to give you a chance for redemption here. As that goes forward, straight to Boutenson though. Boutenson, he's got Seema through the middle. He's got Seema through the middle, and he goes himself. And on comes Kruzliak. Can he redeem himself for the miss in the first leg? We're in the 90th minute, four minutes of stoppage time. To concede now would just be so cruel, wouldn't it? But you just get the feeling that it's uh, not going to have a happy ending for us, this one. Um, Degen on a booking. We could bring Daphna on. But Degen, club captain, he really does need to be there, booking or not, doesn't he? Oh, we need to we need to get this clear, please. We need to watch Gomez at the back post here, please, Stanijevic. Oh, they're running down the clock. They're going to score, aren't they? Okay. It's okay. Take your time, Puwal. Just make it a good one. Gets it forward. 
it was towards Kruzliak, but Conde picks it up. Real wide for Volpez. Volpez for Kruzliak. Kroll hacked down to its tenor side. All right. Well, that gets us back in the game, doesn't it? Volpez now. Surely next goal wins. Baltenson, look at Kruzliak. Kruzliak's in the middle. Baltenson, he's twisting and turning. He just can't quite get free of the man. And Volpez has got a booking. That means he'll miss the first leg or the next game in Europe. Hopefully it'll be the first leg of the uh, round of 16. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves here. As there goes the ball. Majuros with a good header. Conde. Oh, he needed, he needed to bring that down, didn't he? But uh, they've given it back to us. Majuros forward. There's no one up there. That is the problem with us only playing with 10 men, isn't it? And still, they come forward. Can Stanijevic stop the cross? He can't. It's headed. Oh, it's ping pong. It's past the post. Oh, my poor heart. Degen to Volpez. Raul. Raul. That's a good ball to find Stanijevic. Come on, mate. There's a good ball for Conde. Conde, no. Trying to thread it through. It's not quite there. It's end-to-end -end stuff, isn't it? We're over the allotted time, and it would be really annoying to concede after the allotted time. He's offside, though, and this one is going to go to extra time. Oh, one goal apiece. One red card apiece. And what do we do from here? There is the full-time whistle. If only away goals still mattered. If only Kruzliak had scored that chance in the first leg. So many ifs and buts. But it's time to dig in now, boys. We've got to dig in and make sure that this doesn't get away from us. It is a golden opportunity to reach the round of 16 of the Champions League. Uh, do we want to make any changes? I don't think so. Let's go to the tactics screen. It's a little bit easier to see what's going on here, I always think. Boutenson is looking nervous. I mean, a nervous striker isn't particularly what we want, but it's what we've got. Um, so, yeah, I guess we do just get back out there. I wonder the high defensive line, if that's playing with fire a little bit now that we're down to 10 uh, and it becomes a little bit more of an open game. All right. All right. Come on, boys. Let's go. If you've got something, cross it. If you've got a lucky pair of something, wear it. Oh, Stanijevic. And Volpez has picked it up. Baltonson can't quite keep possession for us, but a nice touch there from Bakali. Find Stanijevic in a little bit of space. Here we go. Baltonson now turns into space. Bakali. Stanijevic is on his outside. Look at the cross. We've got three, four in the box. Baltonson comes short. Bakali again. Bakali again. Bakali again. And it's 2-1. And Bakali has scored. Focus this time, boys. But we go in front in extra time. And that's a really, really nice goal. A really, really nice goal. Baltonson came short. Found Bakali unmarked. And Bakali, the goalkeeper, will want it back in truth. But it's a wonderful strike. Don't care. And we are back in front in Marseille. All right. Kruzliak. Here we go with Conde. Raul to Volpez. Volpez has got some space. Volpez to Raul. Oh, come on. Open. It's Oh, it was that close to a Bacali hat trick. Bacali is the man that is shining for us in Marseille right now. Stanijevic does well to keep possession. Go back. We can take our time here, boys. We can take our time. Degen, forward for Raul. Raul for Volpez. I tell you what, with the way that they're playing down to 10 men is really suiting us, isn't it? We've got so much space in these wider areas. Volpez gets it across for Stanijevic. 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 Baltonson! Kruzliak! It's not Baltonson, it's Kruzliak! And he has made up for that miss in the first leg. It is 3-1. And surely now we are going to the round of 16. Surely now we are going to the round of 16. Volpez with a cracking ball to find Stanijevic in space. And, oh, it was uh, Bautenson. Maybe he got a call. He's left it. And Kruzliak has buried it home. And this is Dreamland stuff now. And, well, Marseille are panicking, aren't they? It's halftime and extra time. How long has it been halftime and extra How long was I sitting there just looking at the screen? All right. Praise. Praise be. Let's just keep going. Do we do a nice time-wasting sub, I wonder? Um, Volpez is tied and on a booking. Uh, now, the one thing I don't want to do, actually, is bring Julison on, get him a red card, and then we're struggling for a right-back. Dagan. Ideally, we'd like him for a final. A uh, final would be nice, wouldn't it? For a, a, a round of 16 game. We'll bring Daphna on. Is this the moment that I threw it all away? Bakali on a booking as well. He's had a wonderful game. 
Uh, but let's get Arneson on for him. Uh, Raul is also tied. Come on, Kuzliak. If they do get another goal now, it does get very nervous, doesn't it? Majuros gets it wide there for Stanijevic. <laughs> Not a great pass in truth, and he's headed it away as well. And here they come. Oh, they have got one back. Have I f***ed this up? Surely, surely not. Surely, surely not. I mean, Majoros was the one that got caught out. He would have been on the field regardless. And Daphne's just got to be stronger there, doesn't he? Prewall's got to be a little bit more uh, assertive as well. And it is 3-2. And, well, we're going to... Uh, we're going to change up what we're doing here and just be a little bit more maybe sensible. Um, so that's all fine. Let's just uh, start wasting a little bit of time. We'll be a little bit more disciplined when we'll play for set pieces. Uh, that is all good. We will regroup and we will slow it down. And we will just hopefully not throw this away. Oh, don't. Wait, we got it with Rayul. Corner flag, boys. Corner flag. Stanijevic goes back. Oh, Stanijevic, what have you done? No! What? We were through! Oh! Well, there's no way we're winning this because the heads would be down, wouldn't it? We haven't got good penalty takers. Relax, pick your spot, don't change your mind, and they're all demotivated. We were through. I should have just left Dagon, or I shouldn't have made those changes. Baltinson starts with a... Oh, right. Come on, Pruwell. Come on, mate. Majoros, I think this is our first penalty shootout in this version of the game, is it? Or certainly Champions League it is. Majoros finds the back of the net. Oh, I can't believe this is happening. Pruol doesn't make a save. All right. I feel like I'm in shock. Conde. Come on, mate, please. All right. Who's next? Pembele. Can Pruwal make a save against him? Ah, oh, the penalties from them look good, don't they? Daphna now. Came on the field to replace Dagan, of course. Oh, I thought he was going to miss just to completely top off that substitution. All right, come on. If they miss this one, then we have a chance to win it. Come on, Pruwal. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Oh, he was so close. Kruzliak, oh, Kruzliak, you're going to miss, aren't you? And then they're going to score and win it. Come on, Kruzliak. Oh, Jesus, I can't, I can't do this. This is, I'm too old for this shit. Come on, Pruwalt. This is it. All the pressure is on them now. It's Sergio Dest. Fullbacks can't take penalties, can they? Come on, Pruwalt. Come on, mate. Come on. Who's next? It's Rayul. Come on, Rayul. Oh, Jesus. How did that go in? He's just sent him the wrong way, isn't it? It's one of those balanced ones. It's probably a very calm penalty, but I hate watching them. Just put your foot through it. It's easier for me to tolerate. All right. Come on. Come on, Pruwal. Come on, mate. Come on. Let's make a save. Come on. We deserve this. Make up. I'm going to get crucified by the fans for those substitutions. It's Volpez. Come on, Volpez. Come on, mate. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Ross, mate, we need you now, mate. We really, really need you now. Who's stepping up for them? It has to be a name I can't say as well, doesn't it? Hokova. Hoksova. I don't know how you say that. Come on, please, miss. Please, miss. Please, miss. Oh, Puro, what a save! It's the greatest save in football history. Stanijevic, now this is your chance, mate. You owe us for that friggin' back pass. Put it in the back of the net. I'm selling him. Go back to Arsenal, you muppet. Oh, unbelievable. 
It's Renuso, the centre back. And we need more heroics from Pruol now. And he can't do it. And somehow. Oh, I feel like crying. Somehow we have lost that game. 117th minute, 120th minute. And then we lost on penalties. I want to start that game again. Oh, that is... That is... Oh. So, penalty, see Marseille it through. Oh, Stanijevic. Now, I didn't make that sub, just so we <laughs> clear. I didn't make the sub. That was uh, that was Thingo getting sent off. I mean, what you can't do much about that, can you? That is just stupidity. In, in, in all honesty, guys, let me know what you think. Would you have made though? In hindsight, obviously, no. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't make them again. But you know, they're guys on yellow cards that are tied. We're two nil. We're two goals up. You know, in in the second half of stoppage time. I don't know. Degen's the one, isn't it? Maybe that was the one I shouldn't have taken off. But yeah, I, I God damn it, unbelievable. All right, well that's that. It's done. We're out. That feels like a very big missed opportunity, though, doesn't it? So I'll see you next time. Go and vote for your player of the year if you haven't. Horses' ass is obviously me this year, isn't it? Yeah, we'll have our end of season awards next episode. Then what I think I'll do to try and and uh and make an actual episode out of uh, out of it is uh, just go through what i think we like sort of plans players i'm going to try and get in this in the window and then we'll have the summer transfer special or whatever it is the off-season transfer special the episode after that so that just it just makes me feel a bit sick if i'm honest we were what, three minutes away take care